Live from Fargo and serving you on TV, online, and on the go, this is Valley News Live at noon. The Clay County Sheriff says a warning put out by the Dilworth Police isn't true. Hi everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Jordan Schreyer. The Dilworth Police Department posted on Facebook saying two men were going to buildings in the city impersonating firefighters. But the men were in fact legitimate firefighters. The sheriff says the two were looking for potential training buildings and identified themselves as firefighters to people and even had the appropriate ID. It's an unknown why this confusion happened. Now we'll have more on why the two departments didn't communicate on this morning tonight on Valley News Live. Taking that live look outside right now, it's actually turning out to be a pretty decent Monday. I suppose uh, we have to have some nice weather before things come crashing down. For what we can expect, though, let's head on over to Storm Team meteorologist Lisa Green. Temperatures are on their way up. We're into the 20s right now. You can see most of us in that range. It's 25 degrees in Fargo, 24 in Grand Forks right now. Checking out your winds. They're a little brisk. Most of us reporting some wind speeds in the teens, and at times we're seeing some winds gusting into the 20s. In fact, Jamestown has a steady speed of 25 miles per hour. So checking out your radar and satellite map, we've got a nice big break in the clouds in the Southern Valley. Northern Valley getting some clouds still. And then up to the north and west of us, you can see some snow showing up around the Minot area. That's all going to rotate its way around here as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. So some of us still uh, potentially seeing a quick sh snow shower moving through as we continue through the day. Right now, though, enjoying that sun. And as we head into the afternoon and evening, we're looking at temperatures that are going to stay in the 20s. We'll have some wind that's out of the uh, northwest and into the teens with those gusts getting into the 20s at times. So we're going to take a look at our hour by hour planner coming up here. You can see that we've got uh, some clouds on the way and some wind too and potentially a little bit of snow and we'll talk more about today's forecast but also uh, that winter storm watch that we've been talking about for Wednesday. Details on that in just a few minutes. All right. Thank you, Lisa. A warning for college students walking near campus after a person was hit by a car near MSUM. The accident happened around nine this morning by the corner of 7th Avenue and 10th Street South in Moorhead. The pedestrian was hurt in the crash, but is expected to be okay. No word if the driver will be cited. North Dakota, along with 23 other states, will receive millions of dollars in federal funding to reclaim abandoned coal mines. The U.S. Interior Department is awarding $170 million combined to states and, tri states and tribes. North Dakota will be awarded $2.8 million. New Hampshire is now at the center of the political world. The Democratic candidates are barnstorming the state ahead of tomorrow's primary. And new polls show that Bernie Sanders and Pete Buttigieg are building on their momentum from Iowa. Kristen Welker is in Manchester with more. Candidates are making their final frantic pitch to voters today, each making their case at multiple events across the Granite State. To dream big. Fight hard and win. Overnight, the Iowa Democratic Party released updated caucus results showing former Mayor Pete Buttigieg in the lead with 14 delegates and Senator Bernie Sanders with 12. And while the results are not yet official, Buttigieg is trying to capitalize. This is, I think, what winning feels like. So yeah. But Buttigieg's strong showing in Iowa is opening him up to increased attacks from his rivals. Senator Sanders again accusing him of being too cozy with Wall Street. Pete has raised campaign contributions from over 40 billionaires. Buttigieg responding that Democrats cannot exclude anyone if they want to win the White House. Former Vice President Joe Biden releasing this ad mocking Buttigieg. Joe Biden helped lead the passage of the Affordable Care Act, which gave health care to 20 million people. And when park goers called on Pete Buttigieg, he installed decorative lights under bridges, giving citizens of South Bend colorfully illuminated rivers while hitting out at any comparisons between Buttigieg and his former boss. This guy's not a Barack Obama. Buttigieg firing back on Sunday. Well, he's right. I'm not, and neither is he. Biden, who is currently in fourth place in Iowa and trailing in New Hampshire polls, getting emotional, talking about his late son, Bo, and the fight ahead. I lost my son, cancer, 
but I'll be damned if I'm going to stand by and lose my country. It will not happen. Senator Amy Klobuchar is gaining momentum after a strong debate performance. Do you need to come in the top three in New Hampshire in order to stay in this race, Senator? Uh, I have a no numbers of where I want to be, except that I want to do well and defy expectations. I have done that every step of the way. A new poll from the Boston Globe shows a competitive race with Sanders and Buttigieg vying for that top spot. Sanders is first with 27 percent and Buttigieg coming in second with 19 percent. In our Healthier Me this afternoon, the number of flu cases has gone up in the nation for the third week in a row. The CDC estimate says that there have been at least 22 million illnesses, 210,000 hospitalizations, and 12,000 deaths from the flu so far this season. Health experts are urging people to get the flu vaccine, wash their hands frequently, cover your cough, and stay home when you're sick. More cases of coronavirus are developing among the passengers and crew aboard a quarantined ship off the coast of Japan. Medical personnel went on the cruise yesterday with supplies. They were brought on board. The Japanese health ministry has been carrying out the test on the Diamond Princess. That's according to the cruise ship company. The ship now also has counseling available for people on board. Separately, 10 guests have been taken off the ship to local hospitals for medical care unrelated to that new virus over the past two days. The viral outbreak that started in China has now affected more than 37,500 people globally. In our consumer alert this afternoon, don't pay for something you can get for free. A new report is out from the Treasury Department and it looks into why only 2.4% of eligible tax filers are using the free file system. About 70% of tax filers can use an online system found at irs.gov to get free tax software from a variety of brand name, fir brand name firms. rather, Free file is open to taxpayers who have an income of $69,000 or less. The Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration warned taxpayers often that they don't realize that they must file for free at the webpage irs.gov. That's the starting point for the free file. Samsung unveiled its new Galaxy Z Flip foldable phone in an ad during the Academy Awards last night. It came as a bit of a surprise since Samsung was set to reveal the phone at its unpacked tech conference on Tuesday. The Galaxy Z Flip is just one of a few foldable phones available and it comes after Samsung's troubled launch of the Galaxy Fold last year.